Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. I hope you all are doing extremely well. So in this video, we are going to solve today's problem of the day on the Geeks for Geeks platform. So today's problem is find and replace in string. Right? So you have to find and replace in the given in string. So that's what the problem is, right? So we will be going through the complete problem statement. We'll be understanding the logic part, then we'll be proceeding to the coding part, right? But before proceeding further to the video and having an understanding about the concepts, make sure to subscribe my channel if you haven't subscribed the channel till now. It will really motivate me to create more such content for you. And make sure to join our telegram community as well. The link for the telegram channel is given in the description itself. So with that note, let's get started with the problem statement now. So the problem says given a string s on which you need to perform q replace operation. So in the given string we have to perform q replace operations. So each replacement operation has three parameters. A starting index i, a source word x and a target word y. Okay. So the rule is that if x starts at position i in the original string. So you are having what? You are having a source word x. The condition is that if that word x is starting at the position i, which is given to us at the position i in the original string. So what we have to do, we have to replace that occurrence of x with y. And otherwise, if that is not the scenario, what, what? the thing is like if that word x is not occurring at the index i in the original string. So we don't have to do anything. Right? So the note is given all these operations occur simultaneously. It's guaranteed that the there won't be any overlap in replacement. For example, S equal to ABC indexes are 0, 1. Sources, sources equal to ABC. So this kind of overlapping is not going to be happen. So that's what they have clearly specified. Okay. So let's understand the same with the help of an example. So this is the original string given to us, GFOX. We have to do Q equal to 2, right? So we have to do two replacement operation. Q value is 2. Index array is 0, 4, right? This is the index array given to us. Sources are G and KS and targets are peaks, peaks, right? So here you can see, here we are having what? I value is what? 0. I value is 0 and at the 0th index we do have G, right? And in the original string also we do have G. So what we are going to do is we are going to replace it then with the target of 0 that is geeks, right? Then we have another ith value that is 4. So what do we have? Okay, so we do have ks, right? We do have ks in the sources and if in the ith index you will check, so 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 index up to here, right? The substring part if you will check. So this is also ks, right? Ks, ks, they are matching. So we will be replacing this ks with geeks. So what we are going to get geeks for geeks. So explanation also they have provided the same thing that I just explained that G starts at index 0. So it's replaced by geeks. Similarly, KS it starts at index 4. So it is replaced by geeks. Here is another example. So G Fox, we do have 0, 3, G, S, S, geeks, geeks. Okay. So here you can see this G is getting started at 0. So we'll be replacing this G with who? With geeks. Right. Uh, then we have what? Third index. So 0, 1, 2, 3. So at the third index, we don't have, right? We need what? We need SS. So that is not there, right? So we are not going to do anything. We are not going to do anything. It will remain as it is. So we will be get what? Geeks box. Geeks box. Because you can see SS doesn't start at the index 3 in original S. So it it's not replaced, okay? So whatever task is that we have to read, uh, okay, we don't have to read any input or print anything. We have to complete the function find and replace that takes the string S and integer Q and three arrays index sources and targets of size q as input and returns the new string after all the operations index i sources i and targets i denotes the index sources and targets for ith query so expected time complexity and auxiliary space also they have specified right so i hope the problem statement is clear so let's understand the logic part now okay so when we were going through the question there are some observations that you probably find out what are those the first of all see what we have to do is we have to confirm if there is the equality of the string right we have to confirm if there is the equality of the string then only we have to do the replacement right but one thing to observe here is that so see in the sources part let's say we were having g right we were having this this value g 
but we have to replace this uh, what we have to replace this uh, word with what geeks geeks right so you can see the length is not same the length is different right so we have to keep track of that length part so because okay that is going to reflect us in our actual string itself right this is going to reflect us in our actual string itself so what we can do is that instead of recording the length changement that is going to happen because the sources and targets length is not same what we can do is we are having this array indexes right so what we can do is we can sort this indexes uh, like is what so what we can do is uh, we can take this indexes and we can store in an array or you can use a hash map even right so let's say this zero we have right this element zero we do have an index array what is the index of zero that is zero and for four what is the index that is one right so what we can do is now we can sort this in ascending order so we do have a pair of four comma one and we do have a pair of zero comma zero so what i'm saying is that we will be doing that replacement part now we will be doing that replacement part from right to left why so because so that we are not worried about the length changement which is taking place because the length of sources and the targets to be replaced are not same right so let's understand with the help of an example what i'm actually trying to say so g fox we do have right so we'll be having a loop and we'll be going through the indexes that we do have okay so as if we have done the sorting part and that is also necessary to store the index associated with that value because if you will general uh, if you will do the general sorting right without keeping track of the index so the order will be lost right and that's what we don't want okay so okay so g fox that's the original string that we are having okay so first element that we do have is four four because we have done the sorting part so four we do have so what we have to check is what we have to check is the element that is as the fourth index what is the element k right so we have to check for this chunk this chunk so what we will do what is the index associated with this four one so we will check in source of one source of one this is ks so we will check that this ith index that we got now the element is four right so ith index up till the length of up till the length of the element that we do have in sources of one that is ks so we will take the substring substring part so if you will take the substring from i up till the length of this sources of sources of one element what is the size 2 is the size right so if you will take the uh, if you will take the substring so 4 to 6 right fifth index is not going to be included so 0 1 2 3 4 5 so ks you can see ks is equal to that of equal to that of sources of one right and that's what is needed so if it is equal we'll be doing the replacement replacement with whom replacement with replacement with what target of one target of one that's why we are keeping track of that index here target of one so this ks will be replaced with this ks will be replaced with geeks see now this will remain as it is whatever change we are doing we are we are doing we are appending this in the appending in the last in the right part so we don't have to worry about the length changement because the elements which are before their indexes are not going to be changed right okay so now this has been changed okay then what we have to do so next we do have the element that is in the index that is zero zero okay so now we will check now we will uh, check the same thing sources of zero is what zero sources of zero is what g right so again if you will take the substring so the element that is there so zero to one substring if you will take so what element we are going to get from this s the g itself right so g and g they are similar g and g they are similar right they are similar so what we're going to do in that scenario what we're going to do in that scenario we are going to do the replacement so this g will be replaced with what x and you can see we got x for x now here in between you must have seen this for this was nowhere included so we have to append this part as well we have to concatenate this part as well okay so how we will make sure this i will show you in the code but you must have got the general idea that what we are trying to achieve right how we will be approaching this problem how we will be solving basically so you must have got that idea so now let's have a look on the code part as well so that you can get a complete idea and i have provided the code even in the description for your reference so let's have a look okay so here you can see we are having a list storing array of array right so what we are uh, doing is first of all we are storing that part the element that is there in the index array along with it index so that's what we are doing here 
for in this loop for int i equal to zero i less than q because there are q replacement um, operations we have to do and the size of these arrays is also q right they have clearly specified in the problem statement so we are just adding this index of i along with its index that is i i itself right now we are doing the sorting sorting in reverse order sorting in reverse order now simply what we have to do so we have to go through each and every um, in array array basically right we are having this array itself in this so uh, err because err is what array of array so now this is consisting of two elements one is the element that is there in the index that is there in the index array and and the one that is there at the c at the zero position we are having the element that is there in the index right and another one is the position of that particular element so we are storing this in i and j so i is holding i and d of zero right that is the element itself and j is holding the index right so now we are storing the okay so now we have to fetch the uh, fetch the element right for example we were having something like this g k s right then uh, geeks geeks right so sources of g and what is the value in i and j so if you will consider the test case that we just discussed so we were having something like this so 4 was there and what was the index 1 right so in i we are having 4 and j values what 1 so s equal to sources of 1 1 is what 1 is what geeks so geeks will be stored in s and okay s we are talking about right so this is s okay so sources of 1 what would be the value here in s k s and this is t is what for target so target of 1 is what geeks so that will be there in t now what we are doing is we are simply checking that uh, like if replacement is even possible or not so we are checking that if s dot sub string i what is the value of i i will use 4 4 comma 4 plus s dot length s is what sources of j that is ks so 4 plus 2 is 6 4 plus 2 is 6 so what was the original string we were having g fox g fox so 0 1 2 3 4 so you can see 4 to 6 is sub string we are going to consider so ks is equal to that of s s is what ks right so this condition is true so what we have to do is so first of all we have to append this part because this we have to concatenate this part also now we don't have to lose this one so what we are doing is whatever is the is string whatever is the word till 0 to ith index ith value is what 4 so 0 1 2 3 g4 we have so g4 will be added plus the replacement thing that we have to do t value so t value is what geeks so let me write here what we'll be getting so g4 then t value is geeks and here this we are doing because next time when we will repeat the same thing now so we have to append this part right so from here you can see we are just passing one argument means we are saying from this index up till the last of the string this is what it means right so i value is what 4 And s dot length is what two plus two is six, right? But we are extending the string. Original string is what g fox only. We are extending it, right? So from here we will be getting a blank string itself, right? So that would be the same thing. G fox geeks will remain here. Next time, next time we still do have element, right? So we still do have one one index pair that is zero zero, right? So now i value will be what zero and j will value will be what zero itself. So sources of zero. What is the value sources of zero? Sources of zero is g. And t value will be what geeks because t of zero targets of zero is what geeks. Now again we are going to check if s dot sub string i value is what zero comma zero plus s dot length. So s dot length is what one. So zero comma one. So what element will be included? This g is equal to is equal to s. So yeah, it is equal. It is equal, right? It is equal. G is equal to g. So the condition is true. Then what we are going to do is uh, first of all we are going to Uh, take the consideration if anything is there before to it before to it so you can see this is the first element itself right this is the first element itself so nothing is there so from here we'll be getting a blank string then plus t so t value is what geeks so geeks will be added here you can see uh, what we're going to do uh, what we're going to get is i am writing here so geeks will be added then we are adding the remaining string because you can see our g was updated to what our g was updated to this value this value right so we have replaced the g with g but this also to be added right this also to be added so what we are doing is s dot sub string i value is what 0 plus s dot length is what 1 so 0 plus 1 it means leave this one like one value will be leaving zero to index element will be leaving leaving and rest till the end of the string whatever is there just added so gives for 
peaks, right? So that is what we are going to have, right? And now there is no more element remaining in ERR, right? So that's it. So you can see this is what we have got geeks for geeks and that what would be written, right? So I hope the problem statement, the logic part and the coding part as well is clear for you. I have provided the code in the description. Do a dry run from your side in case it is not clear. I hope that it should be clear, but it's just do a dry run from your side. The things will be more clear and you will be able to understand. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to share and subscribe my channel.